The 2011 ICC Cricket World Cup seemed very distant for affiliate member Afghanistan when they arrived on the island of Jersey in May 2008 for the Pepsi ICC World Cricket League Division 5. But it soon became obvious to everyone that they were the team to beat on the road to the World Cup. We have only one dream, 2011 World Cup. Same, same cricket, <clears throat> same field, we will take to Division 4, then from 4 to 3, and then step by step we will uh, fight like a, uh, a game, like a fight. And that is exactly what they did. When 12 teams gathered in Jersey, it was Afghanistan who became the focal point. With only two qualifying spots for Division 4, the tension was high. Most of the Afghan players were introduced to the game when growing up in refugee camps on the Afghan-Pakistan border during Taliban rule. Given their turbulent upbringing, a sense of hope is endemic throughout the team. They went through to the semi-final where they faced Nepal, who were unbeaten in the tournament so far. But Afghanistan kept their cool and won by 37 runs, qualifying for Division 4. These celebration scenes were to be the first of many. We will start uh, the, the, uh, the basic cricket um, uh, from the refugees camp together. And from 10 years, we will play uh, with each other uh, during the, during the uh, domestic cricket in Afghanistan and in, in, in the club's uh, level cricket in Peshawar. And from seven years, we will play it in the national team. So, so that means uh, we, we, we understand each other. A truly united team, something that was evident in the final against the host nation, Jersey. With both teams through to the next division, the final was all about rankings. Jersey had enjoyed a surprise win against the USA in the semi-finals, but they struggled to maintain that form through to the end. They were bowled out for just 80, an Afghanistan win by two wickets. First place in Division 5 against the odds was just the start for this team. Yeah, when we won this trophy, and we were more popular in Afghanistan. October 2008, next stop Dar es Salaam, Tanzania for the Pepsi ICC World Cricket League Division 4. Jersey and Afghanistan up against Fiji, Hong Kong, Italy and the hosts. The top two going through to Division 3 in Buenos Aires. This tournament saw Afghanistan's exciting brand of cricket develop further. Unbeaten in the group stages, they didn't let anyone get in their way, not even tournament favourites and ACC Trophy Elite 2008 champions, Hong Kong. In their final group match, they beat Italy by 93 runs and became the first team to qualify for the final and the first team to qualify through to Division 3. Another step closer to their dream. A little bit people were scared. They win in 12 teams. They are number one now in Division 5. So we got also a little bit confidence. And we a little bit scared against uh, Hong Kong because they beat two timers in ACC Trophy. So thanks from Kabi. He's a very good coach. He all the time just gives us confidence. Just don't worry about anything, any team, just focus on your cricket and also believe on yourself. We are the best, just say that. So all boys saying every time, just focusing cricket. And we play against uh, uh, Hong Kong. We beat them two times in tournament, also one in round game and then in final. And what a final it was. Hong Kong needing 180 to win. Hamid Hassan almost finished the game with a spectacular hat-trick but was called for a no ball. All-rounder Mohamed Nabi bowled the final ball, but it was man of the match Rais Ahmedzai who took a fine catch to win the game. Afghanistan champions once again. So I was very happy that I play a good innings for my country, so uh, I was, I'm the lucky man who got in the last uh, catch also, the winning catch. So I'm very happy for, for today for points. When we came here to start with, we, we thought uh, we've got like very quite quite strong uh, positions. Obviously, we were uh, we have qualified for a, a, a step higher uh, league, uh, and uh, we thought uh, we have to work really hard. Uh, but the boys have come up come up with the pressure very well. Obviously, they they cope with it very well. They gel together, and obviously, I think it was a success for us.
And the success didn't stop there. Buenos Aires, Argentina, the Pepsi ICC World Cricket League Division 3. Six teams with the top two going through to the World Cup qualifier in South Africa. Afghanistan's biggest test so far. But once again, this team played some phenomenal cricket, inspiring performances from their batsmen and bowlers. The only time qualification looked to be slipping away was against the Cayman Islands. The Cayman Islands only needed 63 off 20 overs to win. At 35 for two off seven overs, they were in sight of causing an upset. Fortunately for Afghanistan, another factor was on their side. Rain abandoned play. Very close. It's, uh, you know, we all out. Uh, we're not all out, but uh, it's rained and they give a target to Cayman Islands 62 runs in 20 hours. It's nothing in 20 hours. They need 30 runs like that and 82 balls and eight wickets remaining. Just for 50 seconds or 45 seconds rain. And when rain stops, the Sampai says match abandoned. It's unbelievable. Nobody can believe. It's just gift of God. And we just was, we say, inshallah, we'll try our best to now we can qualify for the World Cup because God gave us lots of chances. You're not missing anymore. So it's unbelievable. A new day and the game restarted. Afghanistan were a different team to the day before, putting 230 runs on the scoreboard. They were victorious against the Cayman Islands by 82 runs, winning the tournament on net run rate, and more importantly, they went through to the World Cup qualifier. This was the most exciting chapter so far for the team, a true inspiration to all non-test playing sides. It's a very good journey uh, for our players, for our country. Uh, in the start, that we will not expect it that we, we will be uh, reached with the World Cup qualifying round in the one year. It's a long way. We win last something like 25, 24 games from Division 5 to Division 1. So it's an unbelievable way we just threw it out and now we're in Division 1 in, in qualifying round, Super 8. So we are very happy about that and we are very lucky. Associate member Uganda were the second team to go through to the World Cup qualifier in South Africa. They looked like tournament favourites right from the start, beating Afghanistan in their opening match. Kenneth Kamyuka proved to be a vital player for the team, taking three crucial wickets when they faced Hong Kong. This was the match of the tournament. Going right to the wire, Uganda won by just one run. Their qualifying place was confirmed when they faced Argentina in their last match. They tore through the host nation's batting order and won by 100 runs. The celebrations demonstrating what this journey means for these players. Yeah, we had a, we had a good run in, in, uh, in Argentina, uh, had a couple of good wins, uh, a very close one as well. Uh, we enjoyed ourselves. Uh, we played. We could have played better cricket there, but uh, all in all, it was uh, it was a good tournament, and uh, we are happy that we were able to get through that as well. <laughs> April 2009, Johannesburg, South Africa. A year on from Division Five, and Afghanistan found themselves in the World Cup qualifier. This was going to be their ultimate challenge as they were up against established associate countries. Teams that have played in previous World Cups and caused upsets against test-playing nations. Would the underdog affiliate nation Afghanistan be able to stir things up at the World Cup qualifier? Amen. Amen.